Hello everyone, it's the interview queen Alicia Atute here and I'd like to welcome you all to NotFest exclusive interview with Katie and Luke from Pupil Slicer. Hello. <laughs> Hello, thanks for having us again. Hi, how have you both been? It's been a minute since we last had you on the show. Yeah, it's been a pretty crazy year. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of stuff with the the album, like just the continued feedback and then getting this new single out. It's been really cool um, seeing what people think. I mean, how about yourself, Lee? In ways, a lot of things have happened and nothing's happened because a lot of yeah. things we've been preparing for we're kind of on the cusp of those happening for example going <clears throat> going out and doing these shows that we've got coming up putting the single out and all the video and work uh that went into that so yeah we're busy as you can see in Kate's background it literally looks like she was probably recording a demo about 10 minutes ago but um yeah we're busy before we dive into the single a little bit further, I'd love for you to introduce us to your little furry friend there because I just can't stop taking my eyes off of them. <laughs> Sorry, this, this is Ozzy. He's Hi, about dog slicer. Ozzy, Oz slice, dog slicer. Yeah, he's Aww. about a year and a half. He's a beagle. He's yeah. so cute. Honorary member of the band, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a mascot. Yeah, he's basically like. He attacks, one, but... though. He like licks your makeup off your face if you go near him. <laughs> Could, could be worse could be a lot worse i'll take it <laughs> i'm just going back to the single of course thermal a runaway is officially out featuring kara from the armed so it's just such a cool song it has such a gnarly groove it's really cool to see so many people are out there digging it so are you just thrilled to have even more music finally out for people yeah that was the aim with it like it it, it was meant to be for our second album but it, I, it's going to be a while until the rest of the album's finished. I'm like, the song's a banger. But we might, it's like good enough to just release on its own and then we'll have something out so people can enjoy something in the meantime and sort of get a taste of where we're heading uh, just before the live shows as well. And then plus we can play it live now. So that'll right. be fun. Oh, no, I'm excited to touch on those live shows in a minute. But when it comes to the track, I always feel like you must really, really like somebody or have some sort of connection to feature them on one of your songs because these tracks are like your babies, you know. So how did that link up with Kara come about for this single in specific? Yeah, it was it was interesting. Like I I, I was just really into the arms. It was before Ultra Pop came out and they had like those singles coming out and then the song in Cyberpunk that was really good. And I was just like, Cara's vocals are so like unique and really cool. And I'd love to have her on it. And and I, 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 that was like a dream thing of like, oh, I'd be so sick if like one day we could get her to feature. And then I was writing the track and I was like, oh, they fit so well here. And then I was like, well, uh, Ped, our producer, he got Tony from the arm to do guest vocals for his other project section. So I'll ask him to ask Tony to ask Cara. <laughs> But then Tony was just like, send her a message on Instagram. So I did. And then she was just like, yeah, sounds great. Amazing. That's perfect. It, you really you just love ask, everything comes together like don't that. Don't ask, you don't get the text. Yeah, just, just, just message people and they'll be like, sometimes they'll reply, sometimes they won't. But Clearly yeah. it works. <laughs> It worked. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> well, in our first interview, we were discussing how a lot of these songs are so heavy yet empowering at the same time and almost therapeutic in a way to get your anger out. So outside of music as that kind of vice, what are some other things that you find yourself leaning towards when you are down or a little bit frustrated? I mean, for me, I just play a lot of video games. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke's loose, all about hiking. And yeah, I like I like going hiking uh, and do, and doing exercise. Obviously, this guy sometimes is the is the cause of uh, my mental madness, but other times he uh, helps soothe it as well. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm, in, I'm into hiking and, uh, and 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 you're like Viking larping as well. Not quite, not quite the Viking Viking larping yet. Uh, not yet. Not yeah, yet. Is that something you want to get into? Hopefully, I mean, that I'd like the, us, the whole band to go through an array of, <laughs> of LARPing, really, whether it be English Civil War, um, American Civil War, perhaps, uh, oh so, Soviet, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of, lot of different LARPing communities out there to get involved in. You guys I mean, should do I mean, it if as a part of want to get in contact. <laughs> 
you guys should do that for like a music video or something like as soon as you mentioned it that's the first thing that came into mind is you all getting together of course doing it for your own personal reasons but then turning that into something epic like that'd be so it much be fun funny. it's something that I've only seen in films like I'll never forget watching role models for the first time and they have that epic kiss scene where they all decide to go yeah <laughs> like that's what my brain that's goes true. to <laughs> should do a video of that <laughs> oh, I would definitely watch that. It just sounds. Or like just all dresses kiss anyway. That would be a good oh, video. Please, please do. <laughs> Theme punk, I think we could do. Or like you know. Anyway, enough, enough, yeah. enough, enough laughing. <laughs> We're putting it into the universe. <laughs> Well, as we had mentioned before, you're soon going to hit the road for some UK and European tour dates. And of course, you'll be performing your first show back in nearly two years, which must just be crazy for all of you. So you're just on the edge of your seats wanting to hit that stage again. Yeah, basically, uh, edge of our seats waiting to hit this that stage and spending all day filling out spreadsheets of like what merch do we need to bring <laughs> and making price lists setting up card readers that don't work and having to call the support line <laughs> it's it's very glamorous <laughs> but well, it'll all so be worth it in the end yeah rehearsing every day the songs are hard too hard Ble- cursing my previous self for writing songs that are too hard to play and sing at the same time yeah it's, it's a barrel of laughs, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, we're we'll practicing hard. I've I've been practicing like singing and playing a lot as well, which is something I never had to do before. But then Kate just goes, "Oh yeah, just double that bit." I go, "Yeah, cool, that's fine. I'll learn how to <laughs> <Okay>. do that." <laughs> yeah, 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 leave it with me. It's okay. Well, I know you've been waiting for this for a while, and there are so many cool elements when it does come to being on the road. So what would you say you are most looking forward to? I don't even mean cities, but more so are there any kind of restaurants or stores or just fun spots that you've discovered that you just want to check out? Uh, I think think you're uh, probably going to want to go hiking after shows. You're like, where's the trails? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll probably be trying to... uh... To, to lead us on that there is one spot um we're playing in bristol and there's a there's this record store there called um, black sea and i met them at a festival and they took the stock of some of our records so hopefully we'll get to pop in there and they've got lots of metal, metal like it's a dedicated metal record shop as well so maybe uh if i've got a spare 20 quid i can maybe nick something there and put it in the van for when the tour's finished too That's awesome. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so glad that you finally get to go back out there because I can't imagine, like for me, I haven't been to a gig in so long and that's been killing me, yet alone actually being on stage. So you're just days away. We're hyped for you both. (laughs) Yeah, two days away. It's crazy. It's wild. Well, there's so much to, of course, look forward to. So to both Katie and Luke, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time for catching up with us today. We truly do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us again. We'll catch up on the other side at some point. (laughs) Oh, I'm sure that we will. Absolutely. Best of luck with the upcoming shows. And of course, to everybody watching, be sure to pick up the newest record, catch the band on tour and hit up notfest.com for our previous interview and plenty more features. We'll see you all next time. Bye.